Thank you for joining us. This is the National Weather Service planning briefing for Sunday, April 26, 2020. We're going to take you through the next week's worth of weather impacts for the Northern Rockies. And first, we're going to start with our weather, weather impact summary. And that uh, will highlight Monday afternoon and evening wind gusts across western Montana and Lemonite County in Idaho, mainly near the Continental Divide, where winds will be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. Then we'll see a uh, little calmer conditions on Tuesday and then Wednesday we'll see a warming trend with valley temperatures reaching 75 to 85 degrees, which will probably be the warmest day of the year thus far. And also on Wednesday, the flow aloft will be transitioning to moist southwest flow, which will be conducive for daily isolated afternoon thunderstorms across the region. Also occurring over the next week will be steady rises in area small streams, with the increased snow melt rate with warmer temperatures. So looking at our weather threat matrix, we have yellow for Monday, just to account for the wind gusts for Western Montana and Lemai County, particularly near the Continental Divide, and green for the rest of the week. Now looking at our Monday storm system, so here's Idaho, here's Montana, and we're seeing this is our Monday system wrapped up here as of Sunday morning and so here's the rain we're going to get early on Monday morning followed by the wind which is in this less colorful area of the map and that's going to move eastward over the northern Rockies and produce our wind gusts. So looking at the forecast here's our more hard forecast numbers and we can see that we're seeing wind gusts over 30 to around 40 here in the late afternoon for Monday and that's really concentrated here over southwest Montana and along the Continental Divide and I-90 corridor, especially from Missoula East to Butte and really home state pass. There's not much to talk about in that southwest flow Wednesday through the weekend. So this is a better representation of what we're going to be expecting. So the Climate Prediction Center is expecting above normal precipitation for the 6 to 10 day period, which is pretty typical of what southwest flow would bring to us and then also uh, near normal temperatures which makes sense with a cool uh, trough on the uh, Pacific Northwest coastline that'll keep our, our temperatures from getting too warm. And that was our briefing. Thank you for joining us. Our next one will be on Tuesday, April 28th. If you have any questions or concerns, here's the ways you can get a hold of us and be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to get these these recordings regularly. Thank you and have a nice day.